And good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Monday, June 1st. And today in the church, we celebrate a, a relatively newer feast, um, celebrating something that is not new in the church, which is celebrating a, uh, a feast following um, on the day directly after uh, Pentecost Sunday, celebrating Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, under her title of Mother of the Church. So Pentecost often being seen as um, one of the, the twofold moments of the birth of the Church, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the Apostles, and then right after that recognizing Mary as Mother of the Church as she is the Mother of Jesus. Um, and in that connection to Eve, mother of all of the living, the living being those members of the church. And so brothers and sisters, on this uh, beautiful sunny Monday morning, we begin with our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing to the Lord as we celebrate this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Ave Maria. Gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. I will, lift up, I will lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord. In the morning you hear me. In the morning I offer you my prayer, watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil. No sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them, in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just man, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and all goodness come from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. 
Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice, so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty and splendor and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. O give the Lord, you sons of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters, the voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor, the Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry, glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against evil, that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. I rejoice, <clears throat> excuse me, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bride bedecked with her jewels. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. He has taken her to live with him, his loved one from the beginning. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has chosen her, his loved one from the beginning. Eve shut out all, Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide its gates. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Eve shut all her children out of paradise. The Virgin Mary opened wide its gates. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that we may always live in the light of your coming. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Savior of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we may rejoice to share in your passion. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons and daughters of so noble a mother. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. And we pray also this morning, adding to these intercessions, our own, the intentions of our own hearts, praying for the people of St. Patrick, St. Anthony Parish, praying for all of those who are struggling with different, um, different illnesses, especially those struggling with mental illnesses from depression or anxiety, struggling, those who are struggling just overwhelmed by fear during this time, or struggling with dark thoughts of suicide or self-harm. For these and their healing, we pray. We pray also for those that we know who are struggling with physical suffering, whether that is long-time chronic suffering and pain, whether that is long-time illnesses or struggling with cancer or cancer's treatments. We lift them up and ask the Lord for their healing. We pray also for those who serve us in our civil government, our civic leaders. We pray for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon them that the Lord would guide their decisions by the outpouring of his Holy Spirit, and that they would be docile and heed the promptings of the Holy Spirit as they govern over us. We pray for ourselves, for a renewed outpouring of a desire to love the Lord, to serve the Lord, to give our whole hearts, our whole lives, all that we are, in surrender to Jesus Christ and to follow him wherever he leads us. We pray also for all of our beloved dead, in particular, praying for the repose of the soul of Father Ernie Bernat, praying for the repose of the soul of Father Den Morrow, and for all of those whom we love who have gone before us. And gathering all of these prayers, all of these petitions into, our, into one, we use our we lift up our voices using those sacred words that Jesus gave us as together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And brothers and sisters, thank you for joining me on this Monday morning for the Liturgy of the Hours for morning prayer. Um, I have not checked the weather. Uh, if I were to just judge looking over my shoulder, Yes, indeed. Beautiful blue skies. The sun is shining. 
Um, I don't know if that sunny sky will last all day long, so if you're able to, get out and enjoy it while you can. A little cool, but beautiful out. And brothers and sisters, uh, beginning uh, this past weekend, as you know, um, we were able to have, uh, have people at Mass again. That was wonderful. Um, needing to still massage out uh, some of the kinks in the system of, of sign up and trying to find ways of, um, of, of everybody having the opportunity to come to Mass. Uh, and so, as I mentioned before, um, for while there are many who are accustomed and wanting to go back to being able to go to daily Mass, uh, asking at this time if people can sign up or limit themselves to signing up for one Mass a week just as to uh, open that up, open the, open the, uh, the seats up for, for the other members of the parish um, rather than just a couple of few um, taking all of the spots. So I um, would ask that as, as things develop and, and we have a better gauge on, um, on people's a, a availability, um, as that changes and people will certainly make it um, make you all aware if, uh, of attending more than uh, just the one mass that I'm, uh, per week that I'm asking us to limit ourselves to. So um, again, continuing to, to work on our system uh, and uh, longing for the day uh, when we can all look back at the spring of 2020 uh, as an unpleasant distant memory <laughs> regarding all of this. Um, and it looks like we're heading in that direction. So thanks be to God. All right, brothers and sisters, um, all of you uh, hoping that you have a, uh, a beautiful day and hoping that you are able to be safe today, be healthy today, but above all, to be holy today. May God be praised in you.